Um, Scorpio, let's see what's coming your way. And we have energies for you and the person you are dealing with and the energy of the connection or the mutual energies. And um, of course, since we shuffle the cards, I would much appreciate for you to subscribe my channel. Thank you. And guess what? We do have Ace of Cups and High Priestess. Might be a secret love over here. A secret new beginning. Somebody in our lives we don't want to talk about, but we are catching feelings or developing. Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, might be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or somebody extremely stable, extremely loving, oriented on, you know, family and everyday life, quite grounded, no head in the clouds, I know. King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, can be, I mean, if they have any passion and stability, right, Scorpio, we are in, we are in. I'm just saying, I mean, we love passion and we love stability. And both, it's like, please, I want more. Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, real partnership. Real life built together. We love this. Okay, now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And I say the first week of September, but again. We do have Three of Cups. We do have Strength. Leo energy, we do have judgment, and we do have Hierophant, Taurus energy. My, my, my. I'm going to take the Page of Swords because it is all about wit and smart. And um, you know what, Scorpio? I mean, we love this energy. For some of you, I might have news of reconciliation um, at this time. Um, I mean, coming together in a sense of happiness can be a revival. Honestly, it does look like a revamping revival. We do have the judgment and the strength, right? It's the payoff. This combination, it's the payoff for being strong, really believing in it, um, staying committed, being smart and wise about. Page of Swords, we know it's the genius card. And it looks like a cool payoff of commitment, stability, values, morals, uh, rebirth of a connection because we've been courageous about strong about smart about and we communicated wisely i love this now let's see the uh, past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and as always, mutual. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. I know we've been confused about, can we have a new beginning or not? We've been patient about this new beginning, manifesting it. We know, we know, it's all here. Um, so Scorpio, let's see. In the past, let's see if you resonate with. We do have the Two of Swords and the Temptation, the Devil card, right? Um, so we thought about, we thought about uh, because something was toxic in this connection. Uh, the Devil is the energy of jealousy, of fear, of addictions, codependency, the energies of harsh talking, uh, the energy of, you know, throwing uh, words out there just to hurt the other person. Uh, because they hurt us in return, you know, that kind of dynamic. And we thought about, we gave, we gave it a lot of thought. Um, now, some of you, it's more than thinking, right? We've been confused. Um, some of us, um, Scorpio, we might have um, kind of um, giving, given in to that energy of, um, you know, spiraling down and kind of, you know, we get, we got maybe into dynamics with this person and uh, we don't know why, right? Two of Swords, uh, it's the blindfolded lady. It's like, I don't know why, but boy, it didn't feel good. There was something I, you know, like kind of, I can't put my finger on. I don't know exactly what happened, but when we woke up, we woke up in the devil energy, right? Um, and, um, and it just happened. And you had to deal with it, right? Now this person of yours, five of wands, uh, definitely blocking, and six of wands. 
this is the victory after the fight and you know uh, when I say dynamics is uh, you know we all have good days and bad days and we all wake up one morning and we might feel a little bit uncomfortable and we might make mistakes when we open our mouth it happens you know now the worst part of it and this is where the dance of um, that is a dance right in a relationship where if I if I'm moody today the other person is kind of expected right uh, not to uh, pour uh, gas on the fire right but on the contrary to to be the the sweetest one you know till it passes and and, and then it's their turn and then we uh, we are kind and sweet about it right well this is the energy of the warrior five of wands and the six of wands is like baby i am going to answer right back at you you know kind of energy it's like oh you're feeling bad let me show you how bad i feel you know uh, it's, I, I know nothing to laugh about but it's um it reminds me of something but um that's the energy you know and i am going to win this one you know this one is mine oh baby let me tell you you know and then we go into the devil energy, right? Because of it, that is payback and that is all the all of the above. Mutual energy is between the two of you in the past, two of cups and the lovers that were that was love and there were also options, right? They might have been an option for you between two people, you might have been an option for them, but nonetheless that was love, two of cups, that was a body, mind and soul love. Uh, for some of you, it can be the initiation of a commitment, of a connection, and it started as a temptation. Um, it kind of started as, I want to have fun with the devil. It's going to only be lust, um, and it ended up as, um, as a connection, as a commitment. It became stronger with time, um, you know, but I'm... I'm because we have here a rebirth of a connection and, um, you know, kind of a payoff time. I pretty feel that it was uh, more of a connection that you know we um i don't want to say we became enemy but something was not uh, fully around it right so where are we right now we do have the ten of wands and the high priestess so pisces uh, why do i say pisces scorpio we are hiding something here you know ten of wands we have a burden we have something on our heart um, and we also are the high priestess at this time. We say nothing, we stay put. The high priestess is the energy of knowledge. So I'm sure we are watching, observing the situation, gathering information, you know, and, and, and being there. Um, it's the energy of being smart, and in the, but in the same time, I'm, I'm sensing we are burdened and we don't say a thing, you know. Uh, maybe for the sake of the commitment, because the overall energy here... It is the being smart, being wise, you know, uh, being strong and using your better judgment. So, um, and because the overall energy is like this, it's kind of, I, you know, I kind of feel that you have moments where you want to tell somebody off. And yet we are uh, keeping the restraint with the strength, right? We are on our best behavior. We might be burdened, but we, we you know, we are managing. Uh, for the sake of this commitment, you know, and that is a payoff. That is a payoff. But again, depending on your ten of wands, right? How um, how do we want to carry it for for how long, you know? And um, and then we have to put them down. It's just nature, right? Human nature, and we only have a certain amount of physical strength and emotional strength, and and then we um, you know let go of something in order to take on something else. It's just life and cycles. It's natural. So, but we have you again. I, it feels like suffering in silence, but high priestess is not that type of silence. It is. I'm watching. I'm observing. I'm. I'm making mental notes, and um, you know, something will come out of it. Now, this person of yours, um, Scorpio, they go through endings and changings, uh, and changings, and and changes. <laughs> yes. Um, some of them of their own doing with the world, uh, they might, um, you know, be working really hard on happy endings. They might be trying to find ways uh, or change ways they connect with you while the universe is also throwing them some um, curveballs, right? With a, with a wheel of fortune. It's kind of the universe saying to them, I'm in charge for a part of it and you better end something that is no longer working in your life and you better make it, um, you know, 
um, kind of look like a happy end of some sort. Um, it's you both have endings, right? Ten of Wands is the is the energy of endings. It is the chapter being closed, and and we are almost there. We are still carrying the wands. We are still carrying the responsibility and the guilt and the work. Um, even if we don't know just yet where it's going and they have a different kind of ending. Okay. So it's it's a cycle of this connection of this connection that I'm picking up. And look at this. Both afraid of this ending. Nine of swords, ten of swords. Both of you suffering in silence. Both of you being hurt by the current situation and both of you being afraid that this will end. And a lot of swords energy between the two of you. So probably you are a big thinker, Scorpio. They might be a very uh, what a warrior in terms of uh, having a lot of worries. But but um, this person they just mirror the same energy uh, back back at you. And and they are also concerned by what's going on. Concerned that this might end. Concerned that this might be a painful ending. And I'm not sure they want this, you know. But again, it's like they are spinning out of control a little bit. And and the universe is saying, you're going to end this, you're going to end this. If you're up, you're going to go down. If you go down, you're going to get up and, and keep moving. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure they can be at this time fully present and, um, and do whatever you expect them to do or whatever life expects them to do. And that's why you are both concerned like crazy that this might end. Now, moving forward, we do have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Absolutely a reconciliation and stability. King of Cups is a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. Um, King of Pentacles, the energy of going back to what's important. Everyday life, being grounded, focused on work, on family, um, children, abundance, and what keeps you going. Um, and Six of Cups, it is going back to the source and remembering the time and re revamping feelings uh, for this person. It is definitely reconciliation card and with the overall energies. It is the pay off time, you know. This is a pay time, honestly, just by the looks of it. Um, this person of yours, two of wands, five of swords. Um, at crossroads, Scorpio. This person, as they move forward, they get closer and closer to some crossroads. And they are fighting to stay on the path. Five of Swords, right? Internal struggle, external struggle, fighting with themselves, fighting with other people, uh, fighting with the choices they need to make. But nonetheless, they are fighting to stay on the path here. Um, it is the energy of vision. It is the energy of Two of Wands, right? It's the energy of vision. is developing after, um, you know, the awareness of a passion after the Ace of Wands. Uh, but still struggling, right? Struggling to look at the future because, you know, the present time is keeping them not busy, but spiraling um, up and down. Okay. Mutual energies between the two of you, the chariot and the ten of cups. I love this. Cancer energy, success and moving forward and life is a bliss. So much potential between the two of you and in the energy coming your way. So much potential, but they have struggles of their own. Um, they have choices that they need to make. Doesn't mean other people. Fundamental choices. Wheel of Fortune is really choosing the path, choosing a life. The world is ending chapters. They're very important, but they need to move on and they need to get into the flow. Fundamental changes. Two major arcana happening to in their life right now so life-changing events with no real possibility of interfering um and yet fighting to stay on the path with you and the payoff i love the overall energy now scorpio let's see what if we should say yay or nay right should we take them back or not what exactly we are guided to do here um when it comes to this person and Scorpio, love yourself. Uh, you deserve love, right? You are lovable. And well, I, for a second, it was like love yourself first. Um, so you deserve love. You are lovable. You know what this means, right? You know what this means. If you don't feel loved, well, maybe you deserve love. And you better do something about it. We do have let your friends help you. Ask for and receive support from others. And honestly, for me, it feels like counseling, right? 
the advice I'm hearing more is ask for help. You know, maybe that is something that you need to uncover, discover about yourself, about this connection. You deserve love, right? So self-esteem. Maybe some of you need to have like, um, you know, a couple of sessions to, on how to really develop that self-esteem that we need to have in order to move on. And we do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So for some of you, this is all about this person coming back um, during the holiday times. And that might be in a few months, right? We are talking December. So maybe Santa is coming with them in the bag. I'm just saying, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together because we do have reconciliation and payoff and commitment. So winter time might be actually a very good one for you and this person. Um, so Scorpio, be in the present and dream of the future. When you dream, everything is possible and it's paired with you deserve love. We do have sexuality. Let your friends help you and sexuality. So actually we might need, right? Uh, we might need some information on how to spice up our sex life. Can very well be sensual life. For some of you, that is something there that we need to ask and have. And we do have the distorted masculine and sexuality. So there might be an issue there. We might be confronted the devil in the past, maybe something about sex addictions um, or sexuality, the way we express ourselves through sexuality and we need a bit of counseling. And I would say the distorted masculine might need, um, you know, a little bit of help and actually this guidance might be for him, right? We actually deserve love. Is it sex or is it love, right? You deserve love and then sexuality. Some food for thought for some of you. And then we have um, the honeymoon, right? But sexuality and distorted masculine, however this resonates. Now the energies we need to put back into the flow, Scorpio, we do have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I, des I desire in this physical reality. So you have abundance and you deserve love, right? You deserve an abundance of love, but we have to manifest this. Scorpio surrendered negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. We have cause effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results, right? Negative thinking and it's exactly the same energy. If you think like this, it will come out like this. And your results will be the consequence of. And we have worry and we saw both of you worrying like crazy. So I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And bottom of the deck, surrender your belief in scarcity, right? Negative thinking and now believe in scarcity. That is something you might be afraid, right? Um, if they go away, um, we might not be able, you know, to pay all the bills, but it's not about that. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So my beautiful Scorpio, you are, I mean, the universe is asking you to really work on your self-esteem, your confidence, you have abundance and belief in scarcity that is abundance in you but the mind is the enemy right we don't think we have or maybe we have other standards when it comes to abundance um and actually the universe is reminding you i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical world so just saying um so i feel now that we have all the energies right now that we have all the energies, I feel that smart decisions pay off for you. Being strong, that is a, a rethinking, a rebirth of this commitment. But boy, they have some cycles to go through. Okay? This bond is strong. This bond is strong. But they have cycles at, uh, to end at this point. Um, so hey, Scorpio, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come to me next time. Love you. Take care.